Hi, everybody. It's Patricia, and I'm here with Michelle Tremblay. And we are going to talk about a couple of other topics here for your journey. So I work with people for their chakras and their light body. And Michelle is an anti-bullying prevention trainer. And she works with several school districts and administrators and adults too, because it doesn't just happen you know, at school on the playground. It happens at work and all kinds of other places. But this is opening a can of worms for a lot of things. And in case you didn't notice, we're in a process of ascending, and you could also call it upgrading, up-leveling. So this is, this is something that people are largely maybe a little bit expecting, but not really aware of how does it play out. It can be weird. And you could see it popping out in your families. So <laughs> Michelle and I want to talk about ascending parents, parents who need to upgrade, upgrade several areas of their own life and allow it to benefit the children. So what are some of the things you're seeing around you, Michelle? Well, I'm seeing a lot of mental fatigue. I'm seeing a lot of um, desperation and almost at a wit's end. Like, I, I, I don't know what to do anymore. I'm struggling with stuff at home also I'm struggling with my child like things that I need to find different ways but I'm not okay I'm not doing well um you know my husband's working lots like all sorts of things that are going on as a dynamic and I just don't feel like uh I I'm going like this around and around yeah yeah that is how it feels and there is a thing that happens when this begins to happen you feel dissatisfaction with your life you can't fill your tank you can't um find something that would fill you sometimes you piece it together now there's a reason for it and it is a part of this upgrade that we're talking about mm -hmm. as you may have noticed sometimes the best way people can describe it is i'm going through something and that's all they'll be able to say about it. But what this means are restless nights. They can sense that they're being pushed. People are being squeezed hard. And it is, you know, bringing out toxic mental beliefs. Like some of those mental beliefs are, uh, I can't change it. Yes, you can. Because if you're not to change, then it'll keep staying the same and it'll stagnate and it'll keep you stuck. And worse, it makes you sick. Mm -hmm. why stay in a victim mentality about it right do you, do you see people like that yeah and I I see people that are actually emotionally they're just um losing Empty. it yeah, yeah they're when I may have a parent that will come and pick up a child it'll they'll spend time talking to me and then all of a sudden the emotion starts to come and there's there's so much there to unpack it can't just be in an interaction like short but I know that they're struggling and they're like, I don't even know where to start because it was the fact that, you know, something happened years ago with my husband and now we're divorced. And, but then there's my kids not getting along with other kids at the school and ah, like this. Yeah. It's a whole big snowball that they expect you to melt in like five minutes. Yeah. So but as you if say that doesn't happen, uh, you know, we can't doink people with a magic wand. People need to participate if they want it to get better. Now we have the way for it to get better, but there's even more that you need to know. When kids are going into puberty, they're not, they want to upgrade too. It's part of their little spirit and soul's journey to upgrade and up-level themselves. They don't want to repeat the things that mom and dad had. They don't want to repeat the things that grandma and grandpa had not the biological things, not the patterns of relationship, not the cheating, lying, not the sickness, the illnesses. Why should they? They're fresh and new and you can be too. And this is one of the things that I pride myself on is giving people an outline of what they should do during their day and how to do it so that you're able to enjoy again. And I mean, I'm saying this like you're able to enjoy, like it should get stitched on a pillow. This is what I mean. 
if you have a level here where there's mayhem and chaos and you have just crap that keeps happening, all of the things that people call karma, like, is it really your due? No, it repeats like a loop because history repeats itself. If you're able to shed away that history, that biology, that ancestry, and you get to this level, and this is a much higher level, you experience a much better standard of living, better mm -hmm. health. And not only that, your own central nervous system is designed for living at a better level so that it can maintain you. I feel like people are just kind of putting up with stuff too. They're just not wanting to kind of like look at, look at it because it's even though they know there's something, something there. And for the kids too, I feel when I've been doing a lot of this big group work, sometimes up to 150 to 200 kids, that there's a lot of great questions and emotions that are coming up to for them to pop up to release and to do it in a healthy way. And a big piece of this is that executive functioning. It's being able for them to catch themselves in those moments like we do have to do as adults with certain triggers and things that are happening so that we can move through our day much easier and we can communicate better and have more quality relationships with other kids and families and our parents and all that stuff. Yes. What, uh, let's talk a little bit about parents that are, and we mean adults, whether you're a parent or not, because um, it can be any adult where you're going through something and you're not even present. You're not present for your job. You're not present because of these emotions that are making you feel stuck and stagnant or worse in your mind, you believe that you're getting sick. You'll never be better again. You'll never recapture joy again. No one will ever love you again. These are things That's, people believe. Yeah, I think the part of that whole, and it could just even be feeling like a failure in, in so many ways, even if you're a parent that is co-parenting and you know, you're struggling with the communication in that connection uh, and how to deal with your own emotional, your emotional well-being through the struggles that you've had in the past marriage so you don't want to do it again and move forward differently and thinking that there's not a chance for you to have love again and all those kinds of things that stop us from believing what's possible yeah you know interesting that um we're talking about this about those feelings because those feelings they vibe out to people if you're yeah. in a mood your mood is having a ripple effect on people and this morning I saw this uh, video of this guy who had had a near death experience and he went, you know, through the tunnel. It was one of these, like I went through the tunnel and he was in this field, uh, which was sort of a unified field. And there was no, he could sense other people there for lack of a better word. He said the word beings, but I'm going to say people, but here's the thing that he did say. He said, there were no differences. I could see that I was separate from other people, but we were at the same level. We, you know, there was no hierarchy or anything. But the other thing he was shown because he felt it was that his mood, when he was in this lighter place, he could vibe, he could feel the vibe and it was a really good vibe. And he was shown that when you're not in a good vibe, it is affecting people around you. And it, it internalizes and can make you sick. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not trying to scare people with this. We don't want people to be scared. We want to teach you without having a new near-death experience, how do you get to that level? How do you get to that level where maybe you have one bad day out of the year instead of 300 bad days out of 365 day year? Yes, and I feel that it's the, you know, that, essence and that energy that you'll continue to carry with you throughout your day and I know from my own experience now I just feel at times like I'm floating and the world is happening around me 
And I'm able to maintain that without it sounding like something that's woo woo. This is something that's real. And when you have yeah. the experience of it, you want more of it because it's, it fills your spirit as your soul. And you just know it, you know, that feeling you get inside, you just know it in your heart. Yeah. So you have, um, that's a very good point. And the maintaining of that feeling. Okay. A lot of this happens through your central nervous system because you have sides to you that look your fight or flight system, but you can't always be in a state of fighting. You can't always be in a state of fleeing. You can't always run away from everything. So that system, if it's overworked, stressed, overtaxed, you're going to burn out. Mm -hmm. How do you reset it so that it acts and behaves properly for you and functions you better, helps mm -hmm. you to function where it turns on like an alarm if you need to. And most of the time, if you don't need it, you're not in a constant state of stress, mental stress, anxiety, disbelief, um, dreariness, desolation. Yes. Yeah. How do you get that part of your nervous system? Well, we know how to do this because this is what we're working with adults and children on is getting that internal reset getting your chakras to work properly, getting your heart chakra in the right place at a high vibe so that you yourself are feeling like it's manageable. It's being managed and you have the help of the universe to help you do this. Mm -hmm. So even that joyful feeling that you're feeling, it goes beyond that where the universe seems to rise up to meet you where you're at, at that upgraded level not you coming down to slum with everybody else that's going through their junk mm -hmm. through whatever they call it their their spiritual junk their mental junk their mind trash yeah there's something to be said about feeling peace but i know that i'd only at times reach it if i was sitting in a meditation which i could easily do with my breath but to have that with you it's like those oxygen masks that come down in yeah. the airplane. That's what it feels like. I'm just like, woohoo, let's go on a trip. I, you feel elevated to that level of, of um, it's an existential experience. Yeah, definitely. Now, what if you had a bad example of parenting? You know, what if in the background, there's just not a good example. I teach you the things to do so that you feel like a super parent, so that not only are you bringing things in for, you know, what you need to sustain you, help you make the right decisions, help you make the most high heart based, the highest heart based decision that you can, where you're truly letting your heart steer you. Beyond that, something that I like to call be like royalty in the sense that you want the best for your child and it comes from a natural, elegant place within you, not a place that says, are you trying to be better than me? Or maybe like your ancestors, everyone's jockeying for position, or maybe you're the second son and you get relegated to the role of join the military or something. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be like that. And yet those are patterns that are carried from generation to generation that we want to snap those off of you and upgrade you. Yeah. And I know Patricia with what you have also shared, you have a son and um, he's gone to an incredible school um, yeah. and we've all been so excited and happy for your journey with um, him going into his new stage of his life. And I just think it's amazing because you can speak from those experiences too, that you've personally had to go through, but be guided and led through this, through what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, um, just a couple of examples um, that we had. Uh, yes, my son is at MIT. We, we got accepted to MIT. Um, very happy about that. Um, very feeling for people who did not, of course, because they only have so many that they take. 
Um, the thing about these schools, any of the Ivy Leagues or any of the top schools, the kids are straight A. Um, there's, there's things that the schools look for though. And I, I say this to mention as a tip for people. And I think it's very pertinent when we're upgrading. Be who you are, be authentic. Without that sounding hokey, what that means is what makes you you? Okay, your slogan, Michelle. Yes. Nobody is you but you, and that is your power. But how are you going to bring that out? Let me tell you, I did a lot of upgrading work with myself so we could get to that point with him. There was there was sacrifice involved, not going to lie. I sacrificed my entire social life so that I could drive him to this and that and um, support him and, you know, not uh, for certain things. And, and yes, I'm a single mom doing this as a single mom during the pandemic. Um, in many ways, that was, I think, for all of us, two of the weirdest years ever. Yes. Um, most of the people who went through the previous one, they don't remember this, but many terror-filled nights, many times when there was so much stress and tension to get things done and follow through on commitments that we were both in tears. And the way that it needs to be handled is rather than breaking down, you put yourself to rest, you get yourself still, you get yourself as peaceful as possible. Mm -hmm. You do not let it erode into conflict. You cannot create more tension with each other because that itself will mess you up. It'll mess up the plans. Mm -hmm. It'll be messing up the plans that you want for yourself, for people, for your children, for your future, and you can't allow it. It's what are you indulging yourself on and what are you saying no to so that you can say yes to the real things you want that you're trying to actively manifest. Mm -hmm. We manifested it. I think too, and this is a big part of it, is a lot of parents feel that they have to know it all and they have to have it all figured out. There's so much pressure to be a good parent and to know what's the answer. And I believe that we have each other to help us in situations where, as we know, that we're just hitting a wall and that's why we want to do this. That's why we're doing this work. That's why I coach because it's an important part of people knowing that they have someone that has their back that also can do this in a different kind of way. Yes. And this is very, very new because it is not just the part here that we think of as our mind or our memory or this part here that we think of as our emotions and our heart space. It's our gut, it's our physiology, it's our mobility, it's our ability to feel and experience joy, it's our ability to bond with people. This is a real upgrade like we're talking about. Um, another thing that I'd like to just sort of touch on uh, because a lot of people feel like, you know, as they're going through something, listen, we know you're really good people. We know in many ways you're trying your best, but this is new and it is important. And if you take this class that we're offering, we're going to teach you through six weeks, mm -hmm. the basic foundation, a foundational level of upgrading yourself so that you start the day and you have energy and you're motivated. Not wondering what you're going to do at the end of the day. Let's avoid the crises. Let's avoid the, you know, the breakdowns, the tantrums, the, the things we, we want to create another, you know, wonderful generation of kids. And while we might think, Hey, they got a lot of mess to clean up. Right. Or they get, they blame us. Right. You know, the youngers want to blame the elders and say like, look at the mess you left us guess what? There's so much creativity in there. It is not going to be the task that they think if you help them to upgrade themselves by upgrading yourself, because that old DNA, it like really unravels mm -hmm. the and old, you, bad, decrepit ancestral yeah. DNA. Like let's shed that off. Yeah. When you do this work for yourself, it's going to be a ripple effect with your child and your mm -hmm. children and your spouse and your you know 
you know, other family members to anybody that comes in that immediate circle in your life, it's, they're going to notice you're different. There's something different. Yes. People can feel the vibe. And there were many days when I thought to myself, you know, I wished I had a partner with me because he was having a tough time. I was having a tough day and there was nobody, there was nobody except me, myself, and I, those are my pronouns, <laughs> me, myself, and I, and my chakras, which I had opened so that it could flow through me because that is going to be what, you know, literally picks you up and starts to upgrade you. The answers came. Sometimes the answers were so simple, like he's hungry, wasn't acting like he was hungry, wasn't even asking for food. And yet there it was mm -hmm. an answer came. How would you like to be so intuitive that your answers come the how to like work right through you? Yes. This is what we want people to achieve because this is the way of it going forward. This is not crystal ball stuff. This is like instantaneous, you know, I mean, as quick as like a lover's intuition where you know stuff about people you love because you love them. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And you yeah. just, you're frustrated with yourself and you're just you're not able to find new ways. So you just continue to just run around in circles. Yeah. Yeah. People waste a lot of time uh, and effort and money by actually not working on the parts of them that are geared up for this or needing to gear up for it now um, because it's in you. You know, the thing that they say it's in you we help to bring it out of you so yeah. that it doesn't stay packed up inside in a little tidy little package. It blossoms you open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're really excited to support you and encourage you to come to what we're um, able to facilitate. And it's a safe place. It's going to be fun. And it's going to give yeah. you real tools, genuine tools to work through your body There'll be great discussions that we'll have together. And um, there's a commonality when we can share and someone else says, oh my gosh, my kid would just went through that too. Um, makes me yeah. us feel like we're not alone. Yeah, very true. And if you're not comfortable sharing, you can listen. But just what Michelle says, just by hearing other people, there's a camaraderie there. There's a synergism. The synergism means we're on, we're getting on the same wavelength because we want to improve. And that's where we want to take you. This isn't just the self-improvement class though. Be mind, you know, please be aware. This is like, we're talking like serious upgrade here. Mm -hmm. We're not just talking like you tending to yourself, taking a little cooking class. That is not what this is. Mm -hmm. This is like big time up leveling. We're running a special and we're going to carry this into January. We hope you can make the time commitment and invest in yourself because you truly are investing in your own upgrading. Yeah. And it's, it's time to start out the new year in a, a new way for yourself and for, you know, everyone that's connected to you. Yeah. So we hope to see you there. The links are below. If you have a question for myself or Michelle, please reach out. Our email addresses are there. Michelle's website is there, Empower Lives. And so is mine. You'll see it in the description. The link for our group class is there. We love the live question and answer, and we are both intuitive. We will intuit, and we have your highest and best use of yourself in mind as we are doing this. Please be the highest and best for yourself. So have a good day. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.